Hey, you're Hellbirds. Kevin here. Thanks for uh, sticking around. All right, our first match of the day, Billy Thorpe versus Brian Trailer. This starts our nine ball coverage from the 2019 Derby City Classic. Yeah, we got a number of uh, good matches lined up today and then throughout the weeks coming up. Thank you guys for watching. This is made possible by Diamond Billiard Products, the Billiard Shopping Network, and us, Railbirds Productions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button, subscribe, ring that bell to get notified when we go live, and share. Don't forget to share. Sharing's caring. Thanks, guys. And if you're wondering if this is live, um, the matches, sorry, they are not live. We were not allowed to live stream from Derby City Classic. Only AccuStats was allowed to do that. But we are allowed to record. Record the matches and upload later, and that's what we're doing. Instead of just uploading the matches, I figured we'd uh, do live commentary on the recorded matches. Figured that'd be a little bit more fun than just than just uploading recordings. Makes sense everyone? Alright, cool. Alright, here we go. Billy Thorpe with the break. Oh yeah, let's go over the rules real quick. Derby City rules nine ball. It's a little bit different. The break is the winner's option. Uh, it is rack your own. The Accurac is mandatory. Uh, the nine ball must be racked on the spot. And they are breaking from a break box. And jump cues are not allowed. If you're going to jump, you must use your full playing cue. All right, it's going to bring Brian to the table. So, hello, Marshall Craft. Uh, I just went over that. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear me. Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Guess he couldn't see enough of the one to make it, just playing safe. Hey, James, welcome, and hello, Marshall Craft. Ah, nice shot there on the one by Billy. No, oh, don't get hooked. Uh, never a doubt. No worries. Yeah, he's kind of landing in a bit of a funny spot here. I mean, he'll handle it. He's a great player. It handles it like it's nothing.
Just like that, Billy Thorpe. One nothing in this race tonight. Here, let me put that Fargo Rate logo back up there so you actually know what it is. There we go. And Brian Trailer. We don't actually know his Fargo Rate. Tried looking him up. Couldn't find one for him. Brian is from Kentucky. Billy from Ohio. Both these players live in bank pool country. They should be playing banks, not nine ball. And one thing I've noticed, uh, the way these players have adjusted their break, they are, they are definitely going for a cut break. And when they go for the cut break, they are making balls on the break. The players that, that try to hit the one ball square, they're not having luck making uh, balls on the break. But Seems that cut break is the way to go. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention. Um, they are playing with the three-point rule, which I didn't put on the scorecard, on the uh, rule card. I need to have that. So they must make any combination of three balls either pocketed or past the head string on the break. If they don't do if they don't do so, that is considered an illegal break and they lose their turn at the table and the incoming pl uh, next player has the option to accept the table as it is or pass it back to the breaker. And if they do pass it back, the breaker cannot push out. You know, there's no push out option at that point. So that's uh, world standardized rules. Plays with that rule. And they're also using that here at Derby. Billy wastes no time at the table, does he? Just like that, two nothing. So yeah, the three point rule, you know, that's why even though Billy made a ball on the break, uh, he didn't get to keep shooting. Definitely one of the more controversial rules. Not everyone agrees with that. I personally don't like the rule. You know, you hit the balls really hard, you make a ball in the break, but just because, you know, the balls hit each other and not enough balls ended up making a pass to head string, you lose your turn. I don't agree with that. Nice break, made a ball. the 2019 Derby City Bank Pool champion missed a bank shot.
trying to figure out what to do with this two ball. Well, I think he's figured out that puzzle. Oh, don't go too far. He's been on the wrong side of this four. Well, no, he can he can cheat the pocket and draw straight back. <laughs> Wise guy. that just for you. All right, go for this bank or go for a safety? Go for the bank. Is it in? Derails never fails. Whoa, we're going with that cue ball. Two to one in this race to nine. Thank you guys for watching. I'm your host, Kevin Ross. Yeah, this is round one action. So neither player has any losses. In case you're not familiar with how the Derby City does their tournaments, it's not a traditional double elimination bracket. It's uh, basically single elimination, but with a single buyback option. And after every round, they put all the names in a hat and random draw after every round after they, de after they determine who is rebuying and who isn't. So you look at guys with zero losses playing each other, a guy with a zero loss and one loss playing each other, people with each with a loss playing each other. Can, you can rebuy a maximum of one times. All right, good hit. shot and well then uh, James it's it, it is not truly random if it was truly random there is the chance that you'd play the same person twice um, the computer software makes sure that two people don't play the same person two times in a row, if possible. Um, stuff like that. So they try to be more, more fair than random. He's 
Balls are sitting pretty open except for that, uh, is that the seven ball behind the nine over there. Ooh, got a bit out of line on this four. I mean, he's such a great shot maker. He'll probably just slice this in the side, no problem, but and make it look like a hanger. But and that's exactly what he does. He's making it look too easy. Like I don't need to stay in line. Just let me see the ball. I can make it. Staying in line is for beginners. Oh, nice. to the table. Nice opportunity for Brian to tie this up. Just gotta watch out for that opposite side pocket. Make sure you don't scratch in the side two rails. We put some inside on it. Oh, don't hit the nine. Don't hit the nine. Oh, man. Oy vey. No love. All right, he's going to go for the kick shot. Oh, good effort. Unfortunately, it's only a pretty good shot for Billy. So they had over 400 people in this tournament. How many of you guys uh, went to uh, went to Derby City? With all the people that they had signed up there, I'm sure there must have been at least a few of you that were there. Jack in the subway. All right, brings Brian to the table. Ball in hand. Yeah, don't let uh, don't let that stop you, Marshall Craft. Yes. Overrolled this position a little. He would have liked to bend more towards a like where he hit was on the two ball, so he can just cut the three in and not have to worry about the cue ball running into the five. Whoa, cue ball, holy cow, that just kept on going. Speedy table. Ball just kept going.
short side. Doesn't even brush the rail. Nice and close to his work there. It's hard to tell when he's practicing or when he's playing for real. They look the same. for Brian. Typical. All right, trying to kick the one up table. Yep, is this going to leave a shot? Uh, I think it is going to leave a shot. I think that one goes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one goes. Looks a little bit tricky. Ooh, what do you do here? You go rail first and uh, bring the cue ball around. Yep, that's what he's doing. Is he gonna get behind that ball? Nope, he's okay. Miss, but has not left anything for Brian. Brian's having a hard time getting a roll. Billiard on the nine uh, look good. He was going for it. Good speed. Just roll this, some inside English to, I mean, some outside English to check it up off that end rail. Yeah, he is, uh, yeah, playing loose with the lead, sure. 
that might have been why he missed that five, just playing a little too, a little too fast and loose. It's possible. String and he's perfect on the one. Two balls gone, three balls right there. Oh man, this is not looking good for Brian. And yeah, main thing is three to the four. That's going to be the key here. Oh, handles it without a problem. Just don't get straight in on the rail. Don't get straight in on the rail. He wasn't listening to me. What did I tell you about getting straight in on the rail? To not to? Yeah, he was trying a little trick shot there, a little jump, hit the rail and go up to him. Yeah. Didn't work out. Good speed. All right. Good opportunity for Brian to put a stop to the bleeding. I think he may have ended up uh, maybe just a little too straight. Yeah, he's kind of straight on this five. It's unfortunate. I guess if he had to, he could draw straight back you know, around, you know, under the eight, back out to the middle. Oh, he had a little bit of angle. All right, and now he's straight in again, but this is a little bit easier, so just draw straight back on this one. Shot. All right, he's back in line now. Just pop out one rail, middle of the table. Oh, there's that uh, new cloth fast table. Just don't scratch. Don't scratch. Okay, good leave. All right, rip it straight back. Bank pool champion. Is it in? Oh, get in there. All right, good. All right. Brian, closing up that gap. 
Five to two, race to nine. Rex provided by Outsville.com. The AccuRack is my favorite uh, template rack. It's made of a nice thin polyester type cloth instead of like uh, instead of plastic like the Magic Racks. <coughs> so the polyester like cloth that it's made of. Um, Sits on the table real nice. Balls roll over it much, much better than the magic rack. Heck, and you can even roll it up and uh, maybe even fold it up and stick it in your pool case, unlike the magic rack. Okay, welcome. And thanks for hitting that like button. Has not left much for for Billy. So safety coming up. You get this cue ball in behind the seven. stick. Oh wow, he hit that a lot harder than I was thinking. He was trying to make something happen and something did happen. He hooked himself. Thought he might try to kick safe, but no, nope, he's not having any of that. All right, just kick another one in. Maybe it'll be the maybe it'll be the yellow one with the yeah, the white and yellow one. He's got the nine moving. All right, he's gonna leave a okay shot for Billy. All right, he's made it, and he's got good shape on the three. Four is right by the side, and then the five. This is one of those cases where one ball leads to the next pretty nice. too far then you can't reach it. Quick work of this rack yet again. I think maybe he has reservations over at the restaurant. He's uh, doesn't want to doesn't want to lose his spot. Let's see if he keeps going with that. 
Yes, he is, and he's making the ball, and nine in the side. That counts. He just asked, does that count? Yeah, it counts. But what I'm unsure of is would the nine on the break count if you didn't make three balls past the head string or two balls past the head string because then that would be an illegal break. Does making the nine on an illegal break win you the game? I don't know the answer to that. Is Brian an amateur player? Uh, I don't know. I couldn't find a Fargo rating for him, so I suspect that yes, he is. But I don't know for sure, but I believe he is. And yes, this tournament is open to anybody that wants to play. There's no qualification process or invitation. It's just bring your money. So you get uh, pros playing with amateurs. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun and not that expensive to get to play against the big dogs. So come on down. And hi, Sherry. I don't remember what the nine ball entry fee was. So I know the one packet was 135. Nine ball was probably in the same ballpark. Oh, wow, look at that shape, wow. Pretty nice shot. Oh, is it going to get there? No. All right, Brian, here's your chance. <coughs> hey, Sophia, welcome. I heard a rumor Sophia might be joining us for as a guest commentator. Shot uh, actually brings up uh, one of the rules they play by at uh, Derby City. If the balls are close or even frozen, as long as you elevate 45 degrees, it's a good hit, even if it isn't. Like there, even though, uh, even though the cue ball went forward because he elevated 45 degrees, it's considered a good hit at Derby City. So, good hit. All right, so nine ball is a little bit more expensive. Okay, 160 entry with $100 rebuy. Okay. Thank you for looking that up, Kevin. And I'm guessing that they probably scale the entry fee 
by the popularity of the event. The more popular the event, the more they'll raise the entry fee just to control the number of entrants. Would be my guess. Maybe, uh, maybe Kevin can uh, look up the entry fee for, for the banks also. Because the banks had over 500 people sign up, 503 I believe. One pocket had uh, a hair over 400, as well as nine ball had just a little over 400. It's a lot of people showing up to, to play these tournaments. Yeah, so Banks was the cheapest, 110. 135 for one pocket, 160 for nine ball. Ooh, a little uh, glitch in the matrix there. Billy is from Ohio. Uh, Dayton, Ohio, I believe. And Brian is from uh, Georgetown, Kentucky. So, where are you going with that cue ball? A little too fast, a little too fast and loose there, I think. Well, our uh, our bank pool champion hasn't made a bank shot yet. He sure wasn't playing like that during the banks, and he was making everything. Shot there, Brian. Yep, James, he went through undefeated. So Brian's still alive. As long as as long as he's still at the table, he's still got a chance.
unfortunately dry break and a wide open rack with a nice shot on the one to start. I've never played Turning Stone, but I believe I believe it is open to anyone that wants to play also. Billy just doing what he does. Makes it look like he's just practicing. Just how freezing cold and windy it is outside, and I'm surprised Shane isn't out there ice fishing right now, out, out on the river. Ooh, getting a little wonky on this three. Probably straight into the side. With perfect angle to follow forward for the four. Yeah, Billy can do no wrong right now. Look at that. He says that's good. All right, nice performance there by Billy, just making it look like uh, like he's practicing. Brian, good showing. Sorry it wasn't your day, but that uh, is Brian's first loss. He still has the option to rebuy. All right, we're gonna have plenty more nine ball action coming up. Don't go away. We'll be back. Thanks for watching.